Hi guys and gals, it's John Kelly. from AFK Books and Records in beautiful Virginia Beach, Virginia. We've got a massive stack of new releases to show you today. So we're gonna get started kicking it off right here with this one. You know her, you love her. Florence plus The Machine, Dance Fever. Uh, Flo's fifth studio album sees her at her peak of her powers, coming into fully realized self-knowledge, poking sly fun at her own self-created persona playing with the ideas of identity, masculine and feminine, redemptive, celebratory, and stepping into her place in the iconic Pantheon. Indie Grey 2LP, four side etched. We also have this. This little shiny CD that has a signed insert card, which is pretty darn cool. Yep, super cool. So and very limited. very limited and reasonably priced as yeah. well. Uh, so next up, I'll just keep going. Okay. Uh, the Rolling Stones, El Macombo, 1977. A legendary event in the incredible 60-year history of the Stones is available for the very first time in full. Uh, this marks the first official appearance of the group's two famous secret concerts at the 300-seat capacity Toronto Club in March 1977. Features the full set from their March 5th show, plus three bonus tracks from the March 4th gig, newly remixed by Mr. Bob Clear Mountain. This is a 4LP set on black vinyl housed in a die-cut slip case with etching. So bougie, so thick. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rolling Stones. Next up we have Sharon Van Etten. Uh, we've been going about this all wrong. Uncut Mag headline says, Jersey Girl turned Pilates mom makes peace with the darkness on devastating sixth album. Rolling Stone says, you can definitely hear that WTF spirit. It's full of songs, ask tough questions about how to find beauty in the darkness. We've got a beautiful limited edition marble smoke flavor for you while supplies last. Next up, we've got Mr. Gregory Porter, Water. This is the jazz singer's debut studio album, originally released in 2010. It was hailed by fans and critics alike, elevating Porter to the status of the next great jazz star and marking the beginning of his successful career. Uh, we've got a 2LP on clear wax version for you. Again, limited. When they go, they're gone. Next, we have what we're listening to. New one from Monophonics, Sage Motel. If you scored any of the coal mine soul slabs over the years, you know this is bound to be pure fire in a good way, not like my house is actually on fire kind of way. Uh, their fifth is produced and guided by the master band leader, Kelly Finnegan, bringing the soul to your ear holes uh, on Limited Orange. <laughs> Next up, we've got Toro y Moi, I Am The Bull, presents Mahal. Uh, Pitchfork says Chaz Bear's latest <laughs> is a loose and lively psych funk melange. This is his seventh album and his first on the Dead Oceans label. The Bull is Me, okay. Uh, we've got a limited silver version. <laughs> Give it a spin, especially if you haven't heard what he's been up to lately. It's actually three different languages in one name. Bull how and cool, Me. How cool is that? Uh, next up is Kishibashi 151A. This bougie 10th anniversary edition by Norfolk's own features the album proper, plus a second LP containing demos of each song and rarities. Plus, expanded liner notes by Kishibashi and a download code of a whole ball of wax on Clear with Obi. I want to be clear, I am the bull. The bull is not with me. I am the bull. Chaz is clearly the bull. Okay. He's the bull. Cool. <laughs> Next up, Aaron Lewis, Frayed at Both Ends, the former stained frontman's third solo album after making the foray into the world of country music on limited edition on red and blue vinyl, y'all. All right, now he's talking about country records. He's in his accent. I'm Next there. up is Lala Love. I'm not going to get out of it either. We got two more country records for you. Y'all yep. get ready. Country singer's first album in a decade, an eclectic collection of new originals and beloved interpretations. Next up, we got the Black Crows. They do some country songs. Uh, 1972, the Southern Rockers are back with a new collection of covers of songs from, you guessed it, 1972 to celebrate the 50th anniversary of some of the best rock and roll songs of all time, like David Bowie's Moon Age Daydream, The Temptation. Papa was a rolling stone and the stones rocks off and so many more t-rex it's all yeah. on here ep i think we only have one of these left we've taken pre-orders for like a gazillion more so yep bring it on next up eric sati fragments each year fragments will be inspired by the works of one composer the result will be a series of albums where a selection of the most interesting electronic artists create a whole new take on one composer's work the first album will kick off with works by the French minimalist music pioneer, Eric Satie. Hey. 
Next up, Mandy Moore in Real Life, the seventh album from the prolific singer-songwriter, which offers a unique window into life's next chapters. You can see what those chapters are right there. Maybe. Mandy Moore. Growing up. Next up, we've got Tank the Bangos, Red Balloon, the Best New Artist Grammy nominee, and critically acclaimed band return with their third studio album, which pushes the band to a new level, shedding light on their unique observations and reflecting on the ills of America while also celebrating the beauty of black life. Uh, next up, we've got Duke Ellington meets Coleman Hawkins. Even though Duke and Coleman had both been well-known jazz men since the early 1920s, it wasn't until 1962, at least 20 years after Duke first suggested it, that these two recorded their only session together. Uh, Verb Acoustic Sound series transfers from analog tapes and remastered on 180 gram vinyl and deluxe gatefold packaging. It's gonna sound great! Yup. Next up, we have Art Pepper Plus 11, released as part of the Acoustic Sound series, celebrating 70 years of contemporary records. Features modern jazz classics by Dizzy Gillespie, Thelonious Monk, Charlie Parker, and more. First released in 1960, this reissue features all analog mastering from the original tapes by Mr. Bernie Grumman. Next up, we got Muddy Waters bringing the Electric Mud, a legendary and controversial album due to its fusion of electric blues with psychedelic elements. Uh, this masterpiece includes Waters numbers such as I'm Your Hoochie Coochie Man, as well as covers such as the Rolling Stones' Let's Spend the Night Together on limited edition white vinyl. By the way, we've got a ton of amazing blues coming in from over the pond next week. You're gonna be stunned. We've got dozens, dozens of great blues records. I know several people who are gonna be very excited. Hi, Matt. <laughs> Next up is Kedmo, good to be. Written partially in Nashville and partially in the Compton house he grew up in, the album weaves together past and present into a heartwarming tapestry spanning more, to, more than 40 years of sonic evolution in the exclusive Transparent Red. Speaking of the blues, there you go. Um, Mr. Buble, Michael Buble, higher. The crooner brings us 11 brand new recordings. Look at him though, still looking good. New recordings of some of America's most beloved standards, as well as some Buble originals. My Valentine, Bring It On Home To Me, Crazy, and more. Buble. 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 Next up, Kate Bollinger, Look At It In The Light. The Richmond Ados 30 P. NPR says she writes smart, melodic indie pop music. It makes for easy listening. Dig deeper and you'll discover a thoughtful songwriter coming into her own on limited dark blue marble. Virginia represent. Hey. Next up, we've got Amel and the Sniffers, Comfort to Me. What a great album. Yes. This is a deluxe edition of their sophomore album. Includes the album plus the complete album live from Williamstown on smoke colored vinyl with fold out poster. Nice gatefold. Cool. Next up, we've got a super shiny one for you. We've got Slipknot Iowa, the new metal rocker's second album from 2001. It's back on vinyl for the first time in almost 20 years. The title derives from the band's home state, which members have stated is one of their greatest sources of inspiration, Limited Translucent Green. Next up, we've got Mango Santa Maria Sofrito, uh, the first ever vinyl reissue of the Afro-Latin Jazz Classic. It's a desert island go-to for Latin jazz and soul lovers. Mastered by Mr. Kevin Gray, a coherent audio. Only have one of these on your mark, get set, click. Click. Next up, we got Miranda Lambert. Palomino, the ninth studio album, which has received near universal acclaim, even when previous naysayers like Rolling Stone called it a welcome departure. Uh, it's her seventh top ten album and includes a sweet collab with the B-52s. Nice. And next up, we've got the Black Keys Dropout Boogie. Well, we ordered 20 copies of this and we were allocated six. So if you want one of the indie flavors, you better drop out and boogie on down to AFK Books and Records. Uh, we also have the shiny, shiny CD and a bonus bumper sticker. If you are one of the lucky three walking customers that are able to support indie retail by buying this record. So thank you for your support of indie retail customers. Thank you. Next up we have Alex Chilton, High Priest. Originally released in 1987, it was his first full length since 1979's Like Flies on Sherbert. Trouser Press said, what it lacks in polish, it makes up for in charm, verve, and just plain old soul. This could be what rock and roll is all about. Unlimited edition Sky Blue. Next up, we've got Mary Halverson, Amaryllis. This is a CD, by the way, if you can't tell. Um, I would not be holding it up like this if it were a vinyl record. It would be very dangerous. Uh, her Nun Such debut, it's a six-song suite performed by a newly formed sextet of master improvisers. The suite showcase, showcases her many musical influences from jazz, experimental, new music, and beyond. Uh, the New York Times gushed an unflinching original who has revealed new possibilities within the music. Check her out. 
Next up, we've got some sweetness from the coal mine. Yeah. Do we can more before we say goodbye? Whether having a lazy afternoon in the park or contemplating a relationship on the rocks, or both, uh, Dewey Kenmore's signature blend of West Coast Latin soul will surely fit the mood on Super Clear. Next up, we've got Doja Cuts. Here we are, Australia's hottest heavy funk unit working for the coal mine. The band combined crisp, tight, funky instrumentals with killer vocals by the delectable Roxy Ray that are in equal parts power and grit. It's inspired by the sounds of the 60s and 70s combined with elements of modern funk. We got a Coke bottle clear here for you. And uh, last is this Mojo magazine. Galaga. Which has some British dude on the front. After all, yeah. there it is. There it is. Mojo. Um, amazing restocks we got in today. Yeah. Hundreds of records restocked. We'll show those to you, hopefully, um, at the end here. Books, massive book restocks, book buybacks. We're buying all kinds of stuff. We all kinds Don't of stuff. Don't forget, we pay cash. We're vinyl. We've been getting some amazing vinyl nice over the last things. couple of weeks. Keep it coming in. Yeah. Um, we'll give it, give it, give it cash. Um, anything else? Oh, we got this. It's a if, hockey puck. If life is not heavy enough, we <laughs> now carry, carry uh, stabilizing weights for your turntable by Audio Technica. You have no idea how heavy this is. This is like 80 pounds in this little tiny box. It's incredible. And we also got this bougie Audio Technica back in. Look how pretty that is. And we got a bunch more of high-end uh, Audio Technica turntables on the way soon, including, including a super high-end, was it uh, LP87, which is their top of the line. So hopefully that'll be rolling in next week. Cool. We'll see. Um, that's what we got for you. If you want us to hold any of this stuff, Call 757-962-1996 or message us for right here and we'll do our best. As always, the used stuff, um, we might have posted that earlier in the week, so some of that may be gone, but the quicker you are, the better your chance of grabbing it if it's still here. Um, Jazz is sleeping. She's sleeping it off. It's kind of that kind of day. Yep. Um, so come on in and uh, give her some pets. See you guys. Bye. Bye.